What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now today, 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 we're going to be discussing and bringing up wide receiver Donovan Peoples-Jones. So um, it's been a lot of talk on him, man. We kind of been trying to start to see a lot of people really feel about him. Um, you know, ever since the DeAndre Hopkins situation came up, he's going to be the one directly, um, directly affected by it. Um, so let's talk about Donovan Peoples-Jones. So Donovan Peoples-Jones, six-round pick out of, where did he come out of? Michigan? Um, so he already from off jump has already surprised us. Nobody expects him to be this good. I mean, he was a six round pick, but he was good in his rookie year and every year he has steadily improved. Now last year, um, with everything that was going on and despite everything that was going on, um, and mind you, we got to keep it in context a little bit that this is a running offense plan with C minus quarterbacks up into the last six games. Um, last year, and every year he has improved. Now he's coming off a season where he had about like 800, 900 yards, three tuts. Don't remember how many catches, but he's going into a contract year now. And this is pretty much the biggest year of his life, honestly. Um, make sure I like, comment, and subscribe as well. We got a, a 100 sub giveaway, man. Um, just comment down below. I'm going to make sure y'all follow all of my social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, and sub on here. Um, but yeah, we got a hundred stuff giving away. I'm giving away a jersey. All y'all gotta do is just comment done and making sure y'all following me on both. I need ten entries. When it's, at least ten of y'all gotta enter. If ten y'all enter, then it's a ten percent chance of you getting it, or you know more people can enter. But hundred stuff giveaway, man. Y'all lock in with your boy. But getting back to this video, so one thing that I would say is kind of like to mention is Donovan last year with Deshaun kind of was like his go-to blanket guy. Like on all those big, you know, uh, over the middle or kind of riskier throws, it was more to Donovan People Jones. Um, Watson ironically had a lot of picks to Swartz. Um, but him and Amari Cooper's time and rhythm wasn't right on track. And then and Cooper was hurt last year. So that also had a lot to do with it. Now, I will say this. Um, a lot of people kind of has been, like, bashing him this year, man. It's like, it's kind of strange. He's kind of been so underrated and flew under the radar. Um, just for the, in the eyes of getting DeAndre Hopkins, a lot of you guys is kind of, like, disrespecting him. Um, I'm watching a different video, and you guys is like, uh, um, do you cut Donovan Peoples Jones? And, oh, uh, yeah, he's a six-round pick. He's just happy to be here. And, Ah, uh, like, I think that's a little bit insane. I mean, this guy's put up production um, year after year, despite how bad our quarterback situation and how bad his non-wild receiver friendly is to our offense. Um, and I think a lot of people forget about that. This was a running football team on top of having a backup quarterback for a vast majority of his career. Um, now, other wide receivers have simply, you know, came out of that and came through that and it didn't affect him. But let's keep in mind what he's been through. I think he could very easily go to the Jaguars, the Texans, um, the Colts, um, the pretty much the, a the NFC South or AFC South and be a star wide receiver in that division. So I, I don't see why people kind of, like, I you put him on, Probably like 10 teams in the NFL, you could put him on and he'd be a 1,000-yard receiver. Um, a more pass-heavy team and a team where he would be a number one or two very easily. I think he could be, excuse me, I think he could very easily get over um, a 1,000, what you call it, a 1,000 receiving yards and five TDs. Um, so this year, uh, Donovan, I'm going to project him to get – on a high rate, I'm going to say he going to get a 1,000 yards. All the data and analytics is there for him to do that, and he's playing with the best quarterback and the best time for him to do it. Um, I think I'm going to say he's going to – my prediction, I say he's going to get a 1,000 yards, four touchdowns, and he ain't going to – and it's going to be his last season at the Browns unless they sign him. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to think he's going to get a 1,000 yards. Um, now, with him getting a 1,000 yards – it's either going to be him getting 1,000 yards or him getting, like, seven and Elijah Moore getting, like, eight, nine hundred. So, we're going to see, man. We're going to see. I think 
Uh, I mean, People Jones and Elijah Moore has been two raw receivers that's been really affected by um, the quarterback and their situation that they're in. And now that they got a quarterback in Deshaun Watson who's going to get them the football, and the Browns have a more pass hobby, pass heavy offense. I feel like these guys are prone to shine. But, you know, um, when people like DeAndre Hopkins comes up and it's like, hey, well, we you want D Hopper or Donovan People Jones? People are like, go out their way to say Donovan People Jones isn't good, which is simply not true. Um, this is a good raw receiver and will start on most teams like he's starting on the Browns. So let's not keep that in let's not Let's not forget that. Um, just because we got a couple wide receivers now don't mean that we get to talk about our second best wide receiver on the team up until this point. He might still be the second best wide receiver on our team. Um, he's always been healthy, never really injured, always goes out there, gives it all. Um, and then his issues is what he gets out his breaks kind of slow. Um, he's kind of late on his route. But when you're in a rhythm and time in offense, um, and you're playing with Kevin Stefanski, Baker Mayfield, Jacoby Brissett, um, Josh Dobbs, um, and it's a rhythm and time and offense, you're going to be late when you're trying to get to your spot and you're, you're getting out of your break slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be late. So, it's, it's not going to, no, straight sure, it's not going to affect him. It's, it's going to affect him heavily with him getting out his break low and the rhythm and time of offense because he's never going to be on time, making him harder for him to get the ball. But with Deshaun Watson and it not being so much as rhythm and time of offense, he could kind of get away with that. So, that's going to be my prediction. A lot of people are probably not going to see this video coming or people are probably going to, y'all probably, y'all probably going to disagree with me because this is one of my first hot bold predictions. Um, I'll probably get into some of the NFL, like on a wide scheme of things predictions including the Browns one. But I'm going to say 1,000 yards for Donovan People jones uh, I'm going to say he get a career high in 1,000 yards. I'm going to say he get four touchdowns. Um, I don't know how many catches he'll do that. I ain't going to predict that. But I definitely think he's going to have a career year with Watson. Um, and a lot of people are going to remember, like, hey, this guy is actually good. You know? Like, he's actually good. So, um, yeah, I, I think 1,000 yards. He had, like, 800, 900 last year. Um he can get a thousand with four tubs. That's gonna be my prediction. You guys comment down below. Which y'all think Donovan People Jones would be at? Uh, where do y'all think he'd get to? Um, I think he. I think it's all in line for him to have the best season this his career. Uh, with Coop gonna get draw most of the attention and most of the double teams. With him in single coverage, him you know, and his flaws could kind of be hid by Deshaun. I think that's a recipe for him having a big year. Um, I also think Deshaun is going to be at 2020 level, but are we going to get into that on a different video? I don't want to, you know, get into a different topic or like that, but I, I'm, I'm pretty confident in DPJs. All the, all the reasons for him to approve as a wide receiver too is there. Um, it's all in line and on track for him. Like I went ahead and mentioned in the other video, not another video earlier in the video, but everything, it's not like one negative reason why he can, not do good this year besides him losing target share to Elijah Moore, you know? Um, and then that can happen with anything. I mean, that can happen with anybody. Um, but, you know, for simple fact, we got Amari Cooper. We got Elijah Moore in there and Marquise Godwin in there to take the top off the defense. Uh, Donovan people should be able to eat. He, is, he he don't have to be on time all the time. And, you know, like I said, that's his biggest weakness. Um that right there alone with just playing with a better quarterback and having more target shares just because we're passing the ball more, I think it's easy for him to get a thousand yards. And people are not gonna be seeing it coming. Um now the Browns might resign him. I'm not gonna say it's his last season guaranteed, but I do think he's gonna be at least 15 mil <laughs> at bare minimum going in. I think he's gonna at least want like four three years or four years, 15 mil. What's that like 70 mil in guarantees or something like that? I, I don't think he's going to um, – I don't know if the Browns is going to sign him to that. Now, it depends on what happened. If he ends up becoming our number one, then, hell, yeah, we might take him on board for that. But not to hear nor there. I just want to say, he, even though he's a six-round pick, we still got to show him respect, and he's still been one of the most reliable and consistent receivers despite all the turmoil and everything that has went, and went on on the offense and despite all the fluid changes. So uh, that's my video. You guys like, 
Comment and subscribe if y'all are new, man. Join us. Lock in with us, and we out. Peace.